Welcome to our lesson about adding references to your assembly. In some cases, you may need to add references to your assembly so that parts follow the changes that you make to assembly components. In the assembly you see in the graphic area, I've got two components. Part B doesn't have any references, as you see here. Now let's expand Part A and make some changes to this sketch. Edit sketch. Let's increase this dimension to 80. OK. And increase this dimension too. OK. Exit. Notice that Part B stays the same even though I made changes to Part A. Let's see how we can fix this situation. Let's expand Part B and edit the sketch under Boss Extrude 1. Display Delete Relations. Let's delete all of these relations. And click OK. Now let's select the arc and the circular edge and add a co-radial relation. I'm going to take these five points here and add a vertical relation. Let's select these two edges and add a collinear relation. Select this edge and this line, also a collinear relation. Same thing here, these two, collinear. And again, here, collinear. Collinear again. Now our sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and exit the sketch. And let's make some changes to Boss Extrude 1. Edit Feature. Instead of a blind end condition, I'm going to use an up to surface option. Now I'll select this face and click OK. And let's exit part editing mode. Update. As you see, Part B has a reference now. Let's right-click on Part B and select List External References. Cancel out of this window. Now let's make some changes to Part A. We'll edit Sketch 1. Let's restore the previous dimensions. We'll change this to 70, OK. And this to 150, OK. Exit the sketch. Let's also make some changes to Chamfer 1. Let's change the distance to 15 millimeters and click OK. And let's exit part editing mode. Update. As you will have noticed during the latter part of this lesson, part B now follows the changes that we make to part A. And this concludes our lesson about adding references.